other thing is, is so one key is immobilizing them, and the other is having a nice big chunky clipper. Yeah. Because if you have a little teeny clipper, it's hard to really manage it. Yeah. So if you have something that's a little bit bigger, that helps. You know, immobilize them and, and, and you know, put yourself in a position where you can like really get accurate. You are definitely going to get bit. I was just thinking they don't bite extremely hard yet, so. He's got over here. That's how my two are. Poor guy. You get over here, you big baby. You're a big baby. Mm. Ah, stink bomb. Okay, sweetheart. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So, first of all, is you get them in the fleece. Uh -huh. A nice big piece of fleece is really a good idea. And then you kind of let them snuggle into it. Yeah. But what you want to do is you kind of wrap them like a burrito. Oh. Right? Yeah. He's not happy right now, no? Oh, he's okay. Yeah. You fold it back. He's like, what's okay. You fold it back. Now, here's the key. Once you've got him wrapped, you use the, 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 the heel of your palm mm -hmm. on his head. And you kind of press down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, what happened just now is that he feels like he's in a pouch. Yeah. So there's pressure when they when they're in mom's pouch. There's pressure. It's tight on. It's tight. Yeah. Right. And they they kind of like that. It gives it has a calming effect. So if you just squeeze him just a little bit, that usually calms him down. Then you just kind of have to. Try all your teeth. You to be like that. Calm down. Okay. Now, so you see, here's his foot. So I'm, I'm going to hold his foot, see between my thumb and my forefinger? Mm -hmm. Thumb and forefinger. See, now I have my hand down here. He's all wrapped up. I'm pushing down. And I, I'm holding his foot between my thumb and my forefinger. Right? So he's not really, he's, he, he's immobile. Yeah. Right? That's the key, immobilization. And then you can kind of mess around a little bit to kind of get those little nails in the right position. I like to hook him over my nail. Hmm. Now, how do okay. you know where the quick is? Because like, because it's red. Well, I did, I talked to it too, but he bled when I did. Yeah, or if he bleeds a little bit. Can you just put flour in it? And you corn starch. I did corn starch. Yeah. yeah, that's what this is here for. This is the nail cutting station, and this is always corn starch is always right there. Okay, so now I cut his I cut his back foot, mm -hmm. his, his back left foot. Now I'm going to move to the front. So you cover the back. You don't turn the green on. Now, you take the, you take the fleece and push it over by his face. So you don't get bit. So you don't get bit. And then usually, you get your thumb underneath the hand if his, if his nails are really long. You, 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 you want to support his whole hand with your thumb underneath and then go like this to unhook him. Then, again, just like with the back, between the thumb and the forefinger. Mm -hmm. right? Now see how he's curling? He's curling too much. So what you do is you go like this. Mm -hmm. You like, fan him out! Oh! What did he do? What did he do? He just like, he just, he just, went, and he just went like this. You didn't like, like that. Kind of brushed him. <laughs> Ed's the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> See now, you see what I'm doing here? I'm also rolling them. Yeah. You roll them into position. Oh, it's okay. Hmm. Poor guy. And then let him scream. I mean, you, yeah. you have yeah. to do this. The reason you have to do it, two reasons. Number one, it hurts like hell. Yeah, yeah. And number two, if they get caught, caught they'll bite their finger off. Yeah. They get loose. Mm -hmm. Or yank their nail out. Yeah. So it's real important that you do it. It's okay. Now one way to hold them, if you're trying to if you're trying to hold them and, and you don't want them to bite you, is you get your thumb underneath underneath the mouth. Well, it's kind of hard to do when they're all rolling. I have a hard time getting my finger up under his chin. <laughs> Scared the crud out of him. <laughs> I remember. I remember that community discussion yeah, well. You can't let it bother you. No, I know. I'm just okay. And then okay. Now it's okay. It's okay to kind of go like this. Yeah. 
because you want to get them nice and snug, and they have a tendency to move forward. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you want to take advantage of the fact that they're moving forward all the time. So you want to you ever short sheet somebody in, in, yeah. in summer camp, <laughs> where you, you, you wrap the sheet around and you make it go halfway so that when they try to get under the sheet, they, they're shorted, they can't get their legs all the way down. You can short sheet a glider by flipping the, flipping the fleece underneath so that when they, they're trying to poke their head, yeah. Forward, they, they run into, they run into right. the fleece and they can't move forward. Then again, now I'm doing it with the other hand. That you can use the heel of your palm to press it down on their head. Hmm. Okay. Then you just you know go in there and fish around for the little foot. Here it is. And on that one, you just do the two claws, right? Usually. Not the... You're not doing the grooming combs, are you? Usually don't, unless they're really, really, really long That's and dirty. Come over if they get over. really long and they're dirty, Sorry. go ahead and clip them. Hers are usually kept pretty trim in their wheel, though. Oh, baby. baby. Okay. Okay. And now, so then... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Again, the key is immobilization. And his okay. brother's like, what in the world's going on? He's being a big baby. He okay, is. Now, 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 now watch. Now <laughs> watch. I have him down. I have my thumb behind his neck. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get this extra fleece here. I'm going to tuck it around his head. See, I'm tucking it around his head so I can pick up his hand without getting bit. Hold on, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Okay, now you see, you see, now look. Th thumb and forefinger, right? Now watch. See how they're all curled under? You can't do anything with that, right? Right. You just go like this. That makes them release. And he'll, and he'll, he'll release. Baby's popping out everywhere. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, you come here, baby. Come here, little baby. Come here, little baby. I'm just going to get you a treat. Uh oh, guess who's next? Yeah, I mean, he's bitten. He's never bite. It's interesting how crabbing is catchy. You know, I've got multiple cages, and it just it just goes. Yeah. It's it's more catchy than barking. Oh, this sail is right now. Never seen it. Big fan. He chews. He chews. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Get it, get it, get it, baby.